name some uh, gram negative organisms sure sir uh, gram negative uh, bacteria include neisseria meningitis and uh, neisseria gonorrhea uh, vibrio cholera pseudomonas uh, enterobacteriaceae family bacteria and uh, legionella okay what is the difference between amoebic capsis and uh, pyogenic capsis sure sir amoebic capsis is uh, caused by parasite uh, known as entamoeba histolytica in which uh, the main uh, route of transmission is through the fecal oral route and mostly the cecum is involved first and uh, later on the liver is involved in this um, mostly it is seen in uh, uh, grass grazing areas and uh, male are more commonly involved than females and uh, the patient uh, presents with uh, abdominal pain uh, jaundice may or may not be present and uh, signs of inflammation are absent and uh, in this case the investigation which we can do to rule out the disease is uh, ultrasound and then for the treatment we can give uh, albendazole in cases of pyogenic uh, abscess it is caused uh, by bacteria most commonly klebsiella bacteria in uh, india and uh, in other countries it is e coli sir um, it is mostly seen in uh, alcoholics diabetics and uh, mostly in uh, male gender compared to females and uh, in pyogenic abscess uh, it is a true abscess because the cyst uh, is lined by an epithelium and uh, the investigation which we can do for uh, pyogenic abscess is also ultrasound sir and in cases of uh, treatment we can use uh, uh ultrasound guided uh, needle aspiration and uh, antibiotics can be given okay uh, tell me something about gout mm, sure sir gout is a condition in which uh, there is increased uh, uric acid accumulation it is uh, mostly seen in the first uh, metatarsal of the first metatarsal uh, of the great toe first metatarsal of the great toe and uh, mostly seen in middle aged group of uh, 30 to 50 years and mostly seen in males uh, it is an uh, inflammatory type of arthritis uh, the treatment of uh, gout includes uh, in uh, acute conditions and chronic conditions in acute conditions we can give uh, to relieve the pain uh, such as uh, colchicine can be given and uh, nsaids can be given such as indomethacin and naproxen and uh, intraarticular steroids can also be injected to relieve the pain in uh, chronic conditions uh the drugs can be targeted towards inhibiting the synthesis or promoting the excretion of uh, uric acid sir. to inhibit the synthesis we can give allopurinol and uh, to increase the excretion of the uric acid uh, we can give uh, uricosuric drugs such as probenecid okay uh tell me something about uh, diabetes uh, management and investigations sure sir diabetes is a condition uh, in which there is uncontrolled increased sugar levels sir it is mainly of uh, two types uh, type 1 and type 2 uh, in uh, type 1 uh, diabetes mellitus there is uh, autoimmune destruction of the beta cells of pancreas whereas in uh, type 2 the pancreas is working normally but there is uh, defect at the peripheral uh, organs receptivity so the peripheral tissues are uh, resistant to insulin in uh, cases of uh, diabetes the most common investigations which we do are uh, fasting blood uh, sugar levels and uh, which should be more than uh, or equal to 126 uh, 
मिलीग्राम पर डेसीलीटर और रैंडम ब्लड ग्लूकोज लेवल्स विच कैन विच शुड बी मोर देन टू हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम पर डेसीलीटर एलॉन्ग विद सिम्टम्स ऑफ डायबिटीज विच इज पॉलीडिप्सिया पॉलीफेजिया एंड पॉलीयूरिया एंड ऑल्सो एच बी एवन सी विच इज अंसिटिव मार्कर शुड बी ऑल्सो ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव for the diagnosis of diabetes for uh, management firstly we give uh, lifestyle modifications such as uh, diet and exercise uh, and uh, then we can add uh, metformin and after that uh, we can uh, reassess the hba1c levels after 3 months of uh, the starting of treatment if hba1c levels are normal then we can uh, reassess it after every 6 months if it uh, it is not uh, in uh, normal levels then we can uh, give metformin along with uh, other uh, second line agents and if still no response is there then we can add uh, insulin sir okay uh, what are uh, the disinfectants um uh, sure sir uh disinfection is a process of killing the microorganisms but uh, not uh, the pores uh, the disinfectant are the chemicals which are used to kill the inorga- inanimate objects uh, mostly there are three levels of uh, disinfectants in the high level they kill all the microorganisms including the spores example uh, aldehydes in uh, intermediate levels uh, they kill uh, most of the viruses and uh, pathogenic uh, bacteria and uh, fungi but not the spores um, examples include uh, phenol in the low level they kill uh, most of the bacteria fungi and viruses sir okay uh, tell me something about treponema sure sir treponema is uh, belonging to a group called as pyrochetes sir the most common uh, treponema which uh, causes syphilis is treponema pallidum uh, syphilis uh, is uh, characterized by uh, mainly presence of chancre which is uh, painless uh, non tender uh hard and uh, indurated uh, ulcers uh, and uh, regional lymphadenopathy is also present and uh, the stages of uh, syphilis are uh, primary syphilis secondary syphilis uh, t- uh, latent and uh, tertiary syphilis for uh, diagnosis of syphilis so mostly non treponema tests are uh, done which are uh, vdrl tests uh, and uh, um react um reactive plasma reagent uh, tests and for uh, treatment mainly we give uh, benzethine uh, penicillin im route for three doses weekly sir okay uh, tell me something about anaphylaxis sure sir anaphylaxis is a type of uh, severe hypersensitivity reaction so it is uh, type 1 type and uh, type 1 uh, type of hypersensitivity reaction which is mediated by ig antibodies sir it is a medical emergency condition which can be life threatening also if not uh, intervened immediately uh, it can be seen uh, due to a sting of an uh, insect bite such as honey bee or uh, due to ingestion of any food substance for which the person is allergic and uh, sensitized and in cases of uh, sensitivity to drugs such as penicillin sir uh, the patient can present with uh, bronchospasm increased uh, difficulty in uh, breathing or uh, he can uh, present with uh, laryngeal edema uh, swelling of the tongue nausea vomiting and uh, swelling of the lips and around the eyes also sir and he can also present with uh, itching and uh, urticaria also for the management mostly we will uh, 
remove the allergen uh, from the patient as soon as possible then uh, we will lie down the patient and uh, give him 100% oxygen to ensure the patency of the airways and then we administer iv adrenaline IV, uh, which is available as uh, avil uh, we give uh, 1 ml of uh, uh, adrenaline and 1 in uh, thousand uh, dilution which uh, is the main uh, drug of uh, choice for uh, treatment of uh, anaphylaxis it uh, stops the anaphylactic reaction immediately and uh, provides uh, relief and then uh, we can give antihistaminics to reduce the itching and attic area and uh, if the patient is suffering from uh, nebula uh, from uh, bronchospasm difficulty in breathing uh, we can give uh, inhalation of uh, salbutamol of beta blockers by nebulization also sir okay uh, what are the differential diagnosis for uh, acute abdomen uh, short sure, sir for the uh, differential diagnosis of uh, acute abdomen mainly acute uh, appendicitis sir. then uh, bowel perforation acute peritonitis can also be uh, differential diagnosis then uh, torsion of uh, testis can also be a differential diagnosis uh, renal calliculi then uh, acute uh, pancreatitis and uh, acute uh, cholecystitis sir. Okay, what all are the mosquitoes born diseases? Sure, sir. Mostly malaria, then chikungunya, dengue, and lymphatic filariasis and Japanese encephalitis are the diseases which are mosquito born, sir. Okay. Uh, what is uh, tell me something about cold chain then ilr sure sir uh, cold chain is a system which uh, maintains the temperature of the vaccines from the manufacturing uh, point to the end point sir the main uh, equipments which are involved in the cold chain are uh, day carrier uh, vaccine carrier then uh, cold box which are present at the peripheral units and uh, then uh, uh, Iceland refrigerators then uh, deep freezers and uh, walk-in ice rooms uh, in uh, Iceland refrigerators it is um, the method which is uh, used at the PHC and uh, community health center or urban health center and uh, the temperature at which uh, the vaccines can be stored is uh, minus 20 to minus 40 degrees and the vaccines can be stored up to one month and uh, here the temperature is measured for uh, every 12 hours and uh, the vaccines which are stored in Iceland refrigerators are in the lower uh, zone which is the coolest uh, zone uh, polio vaccine measles vaccine bcg and uh, japanese encephalitis vaccine is stored in the upper zone which is a less uh, cooler zone uh, dtp pentavalent uh, dtp pentavalent vaccine and hep b vaccine are stored and in the middle zone remaining all other vaccines are stored okay uh, what is uh, pneumothorax so pneumothorax is a emergency condition sir in which there is air accumulation between the parietal pleura and the visceral pleura due to any blunt or penetrating trauma to the chest sir and in this case on the affected side the lung gets collapsed and because of this on the opposite side there is a compensatory hyperinflation of the lung which uh, results in uh, hyperresonant uh, 
note on uh, percussion and uh, mostly the clinical findings include uh, increased uh, respiratory rate because of uh, one lung hyperinflation and uh, also increased heart sounds and increased uh, JVP and absent breath sounds and uh, diagnosis is mostly by uh, clinical examination and uh, treatment is uh, mostly done by needle thoracocentesis to release the air thank you sir